people, these are our top five biggest stories for the week. So how did they fare in this world of information overload? Let's find out, shall we? Number five, Pokemon mainline series developer Game Freak revealed they're hiring for a really popular RPG title, and it looks like a new Pokemon title is on the way. Silicon Nero reports a 3D CG designer is needed to work on characters, monsters, and items for a title that everyone knows, Pokemon. And then they need someone with experience creating models of Wii U and PS Vita level. Pokemon, on the Switch, I Pikachu's you. Number four, loving For Honor? Looking to unlock all those sweet customization options? Well, I hope you have a lot of time on your hands because Reddit user Bystander007 calculated exactly how long it would take you. At a two hour day cycle, earning 1200 in steel, you're looking at roughly 2.51 years. Yeah, so I would set aside a lot of vacation time if I were you. Number three, we all know by now that Mass Effect Andromeda's facial animations could use a little TLC. Well, lead designer on the title, Ian S. Frazier, answered about a fix on Twitter this week, saying we're currently evaluating various options for making it better, adding no promises, but I've got it on a list of things we're looking at potentially fixing and adding for character creation. Let's all hope it's soon. I want it to be believable when I get freaky deaky in space. Number two, spoiler warning if you're hella late to watching Rogue One. Turns out the film could have ended on a much lighter note. Speaking with EW, co-writer on the film Gary Whitta explained the plan had always been to kill off the entire crew, but worried Disney would deem it too dark. So Gary wrote an alternate ending where Urso and Cassian survive thanks to a rebel ship. More on that story at the link below. And number one, yes, for those experiencing problems syncing the left Joy-Con controller to the Switch, Nintendo has finally revealed the main culprit. In a quote provided to us by Nintendo of America, apparently a manufacturing variation has resulted in wireless interference with a small number of the left Joy-Con. Nintendo says there is no design problem and that moving forward, this will not be an issue. You better hope so. And those are your top five stories of the week. Be sure to watch the rest of our Daily Fix episodes for even more news and we'll see you tomorrow. Later.